Hey Patrick, I just wanted to show you um, the, the movement of the blade. Let me get it. I'm trying to get it so I can see the whole blade here. There we go. And if you watch if, real carefully, you can see how the Fregellis are they're accurate, but they're not perfect. They'll they'll wander a tiny bit from each other. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go really slow so you can see how the, the actually twists a little bit as it hits like like the resolutions not so fine that it won't they won't vary in the movement I don't know if that's showing up on film but it's actually rocks a little bit as it comes down but it's pretty darn level Now let me move it to a different place in the carpeting just to make sure it's not make sure the carpeting's level. Oh, that part let me move it over a little bit here. There you can see the whole blade. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn level. But it does wiggle to the left, to the right a little bit. And the other thing you have to understand is that the, where the, um, where the actuators are mounted are kind of close together in reference to this distance from the actuator to the blade tip. So if the Fregelli's off, you know, just a sixteenth of an inch between the two of them, that's going to translate to an eighth of an inch or more out of the blade tip. But like I said in the uh, in the email, the Fregelli's are awesome actuators. I mean, they're just one step away from hydraulic, but they have no maintenance to them, so. I trust them completely. And knock on wood, I haven't had any uh, Fregelli failures on a D11, so they also they hold up quite well. So, but I'll, I'll shoot you an email and talk to you soon, Patrick. Bye bye.